praise the name of the Lord. God bless you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to this prophetic channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. God bless you. To you that is seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I am the man that God uses. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. If you are a member of this platform, you're subscribed already to this channel. And this is your hub for spiritual upliftment. I want to thank you so much for being a part of my life. God bless you in Jesus' name. Someone is acting out of jealousy. They are mocking you out of jealousy. They are laughing at you out of jealousy. But God says your comeback will put the mocker to shame. Oh, hallelujah. God says your comeback will put the mocker to shame. There is somebody I see in the realm of the spirit right now. You are kind of in a place where your contemporaries are laughing at you. There are people who were once with you and probably because you had a disagreement, um, now they, they think that they are better off than you and they are looking at you and laughing. They are laughing at you. They think that you have not made the right choices in your life. You are probably broke. You are struggling. And you, you, you have left them or they have left you. They are expecting the worst to come from you. The Lord says they are mocking you. You know when you stay in a place and then they make certain comments without mentioning your name. But you know it's directly targeted at you. You know when you pass you know, through your office or through your workplace and people stop talking because they were talking about you. They are talking behind your back. And then when you pass, they laugh. Or maybe they, can, they might be quiet, silent. When you pass, they begin to talk. And sometimes it almost wants to get to you. The Lord says they are mocking you, but your comeback will send the mocker to the place of quietness. The Lord says your comeback will be so powerful that those who have laughed at you will begin to seek recommendation, favors from you. Now, the prophetic comes to encourage you. The prophetic comes to show you the plan that God has in store. That might not be very physically evident, but it comes to show you what is possible if you can only trust in the name of the Lord. Right now, family, God is saying you should focus. Focus on those who love you. Focus on those who celebrate you. Ignore the mocker. You see, when you are on top, you become the topic. When you are in front, then you can be backbited. When people backbite you, it's because they are at your back. Nobody backbites you from the front. They are behind you. God has set you on a unique pedestal. God has set you on a unique path. They envy it and sometimes that's why they mock you. Listen to this. Most times, people mock what they cannot get. They first start by laughing at you. Then they fight you. Then they come back to you to beg. They ignore you, first of all. Then they start laughing at you. They notice you, but they laugh at you. Then they begin to fight you. And then they come back to beg you. So they have ignored you and you kept thriving. They laughed at you and you are going. Probably now they are fighting you in physically. They are going beyond just mocking you to try to disconnect you and to destroy the things that you are building. Please, I don't know who needs to hear this. God says, focus. Your comeback will send chills down their spine. Oh, glory to God. I'm excited about this word. God says your comeback will send chills down their spine. 
God says your comeback will be so powerful that those who have mocked at you, laughed at you, insulted you, will become your number one fans. They will tell the world what God is doing in your life. Have you ever wondered why God prepares a table in the presence of your enemies? Because you need somebody to tell the story of how amazing the reception was, the food was, the praise, the lifting was. And your enemies will do a good job at advertising you without a pain. <laughs> I bless you. I declare that the hand of God rests on you. I'm just excited in my heart today. And I pray that this joy becomes contagious. Let it come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I release the favor of God upon you today in Jesus' name. Can you say big amen, somebody? Amen. The Lord bless you. Shalom.